Hi, we're here at Primary Children's Hospital at Sophie's Place. Now this place is very exciting because it just opened last June and it is the first in the nation for pediatric hospitals for a space that's dedicated specifically to music therapy. Let's see what they have. Hi, Amanda. Hi, welcome Amy. to Sophie's Place. Nice to meet you. This place is fantastic. Aww. The idea behind it was, was to really be a healing environment and, and to be a place that felt kind of like a sanctuary. We are addressing the individualized needs of the kids in the hospital. So that could be anything from uh, pain management to anxiety reduction to um, emotional expression. Music is able to reach everybody no matter uh, what their um, functioning level is no matter where they're at emotionally. Let's see, can we get a check one, two, three? So Abby and I have been working on a number of different things. We were just wondering what we were going to do in music and then we just came up with the idea by doing a song. I'm strong, I'm full of life, I'm kind, I have faith. We started working on this song that uh, describes her journey and um, the, the fighter that she has inside herself. I know, I'll get through it. It started out as a really bad headache and then it turned into a brain infection. And they discovered that she had lesions on her cerebellum and the doctor suggested that we um, take her to primary children's. It almost felt like it was almost an outer body experience, like this isn't really happening because it came on so quick. We just didn't expect something like this to happen to us. And I know that this was meant to be. They put an EVD in, so that's like a thing that takes out the of swelling in my brain. And she lost all of her motor functions and her ability to be able to speak. She had to relearn to be able to speak. We met Amanda and um, she, it was just heartwarming when she would come in and play the songs with Abby and they would sing it. It, it really moved your soul. Well, the first time I did music therapy, it was actually in my room, and I sang a song, and I just played a song and stuff. I can do it, I'll keep moving on. So Amanda just kept coming day after day, slowly working with her, and Abby's voice slowly got stronger and stronger. I'm a fighter. And she truly is a fighter. And I know. Now that she's wrote the song, we would like to have Amanda start working the beat with her to help her start walking again. I'll make every moment count and keep on keeping on. The core of the song is just, it's beautiful and it's, um, it's, uh, it just, it describes Abby. And you think about people like Amanda who are helping these patients find their voice again after things that can be very traumatic. And talking to Tiffany, her mom, and Abby, their bravery was inspiring to me. I have a 12-year-old daughter, and I think this could be my daughter. This could be any one of our daughters. And so how grateful we are to have a place like Primary Children's that invests in places like these for our kids.